Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. The funny thing about internet radio is that you hear what you catch during your commute, your workout, and maybe sometimes while you're getting paperwork done at the office. On occasion, you may find yourself having to choose between hearing one show and another if they fall in the same time slot. With Radio Gaga for Mac OS X installed, this really isn't a problem any longer. Radio Gaga gives you the ability to create a schedule that records several of your favorite online radio stations simultaneously. This means that while you're grabbing the morning show in your local station using their live stream, you can listen to the morning news on another and record several other stations in real time. If you're a music lover, you might enjoy Radio Gaga's ability to separate songs on a station into individual MP3s, which can be ported directly to your iTunes library, DRM-free. These songs aren't perfect. Tracks are often cross-faded on radio, which means you may find yourself losing the first and last parts of your favorite songs. In some cases, you can hear station IDs and liners at the end of tracks. This isn't a substitute for buying your favorite music, and it's not meant to be. It's meant to be a way for you to enjoy your favorite radio on your time when you're ready to hear it. You are also able to create recording filters. This means you can leave a station going constantly, whether you hear it or not, and have it start recording only when a specific artist or song plays. This allows you to pick and choose exactly what you want to record in times when you don't know exactly when to expect it to go on air. For example, the latest Lady Gaga song, you really want to hear it on the radio, but you don't know when it's going to play. Set the record, bam, you're ready to go. You have to be pretty specific with the filter to get it absolutely right, which can take a little trial and error to get just perfect. The interface looks a lot like the one found in iTunes, and it works in much the same way. List, icon, and cover flow browsing options are available in most of the windows to allow you to browse stations in much the same way you would music in your iTunes library. Scheduling recording is pretty easy. For example, if you want to record a specific show that comes on every weekday at a certain time, you can do this using Radio Gaga. All you have to do is right-click the station and select Record with Schedule. Here, you can tell Radio Gaga how often and for how long to record a specific station. This comes in handy when your favorite show is broadcast live when you're not available and you don't want to have to wait until the next day for the podcast to come out for their show. Many stations still don't release their morning shows or some talk shows in podcast format. With this program, you can essentially make your own. Overall, Radio Gaga is a solid app for anyone looking for a way to record multiple online radio stations simultaneously. It delivers on its promise, and though it doesn't have a wow factor that would make it a must-have for a large audience, it serves a niche functionality seamlessly and reliably. It is also part of the Mac Legion package, which is currently being made available for $49.99. Now, this package has a lot of awesome software, but Radio Gaga alone retails for $29.99. And uh, take a look at all the software they have available. You can go to go.tagjag.com slash Mac Legion or go.tagjag.com slash Radio Gaga to look for coupons specific to Radio Gaga. This has been Mac Ryan for Locker Gnome, reminding you, you don't have to be rich to enjoy your technology.